Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of falling text animation inside Blender using rigid body physics easily. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description okay. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I am using Blender 2.93 nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's start this by entering our text. So go to this add select text here. So we got our default text here. So now let's edit this text. So press tab on the keyboard for edit mode backspace to delete that text and enter your text. So again press tab to exit that edit mode. Now let me rotate this so RX90 okay. So now come to this object data properties alignment let it be at the center. So let's add some extrusion come to this geometry and let me add 0.1 extrude and let me add a bevel also. So depth I will increase this to 0.01 in bevel options okay. So if you want to change the font you can do that come to this font options and click on this folder. So I'll get all the fonts which are installed in the PC. So select whichever font you like. So I will select this font and open font here so it will be updated okay. So now in order to apply rigid body physics first we need to convert this into mesh. So currently the text is not mesh. So select that text go to this object convert now select this mesh. So now this is converted to mesh. So if I press tab on the keyboard for edit mode you can see we got this in edit mode. So let me change this to wireframe mode. So currently the mesh is not proper first we need to fix that. So come to this modifier properties add modifier add remesh modifier. Now come to the smooth options, uncheck this remove disconnected and increase this octree depth value. So let me increase this to 7. Okay, so this much is enough I think. And let me apply this modifier. Let me move back to this solid viewport. So right click and shade smooth. Okay, so now this is converted into mesh. So let me place this text here. Okay, so being selected this text come to this physics properties and add rigid body. So type let it be active. So mass if you want to change you can do that so I will leave this to 1 kg only okay. So if I play this now you can see our text will be falling down. So we need to create a collision here. So go to this add mesh select a plane. Let me increase the scaling press S and increase the scaling here and apply rigid body and type let it be passive. So now if I play this you can see it is not passing or going through the plane okay. So the behavior is not looking proper or natural. So in order to get the simulation work in proper way we need to have this pivot point at the center. So select the text go to this object set origin origin to geometry. So now if I play this once again you can see it is behaving now ok. Nice. So here I don't want entire text to fall down at a time. I want this letter by letter to fall down. So I will show you how to do that. So select the text press tab to enter edit mode. And press A to select all the vertices. Press P on the keyboard and select this by loose parts. So now again press tab to exit that edit mode. So here we got all letters separated here. So again we need to place this pivot point center to each and every alphabet. So for example if I play this now you can see this is not behaving proper. So we need to place the center here you can see for this the pivot point is here. For R it is here. For P it is here. So we need to fix that so select all the text here go to this object set to origin origin to geometry. So if I play this now you can see this is behaving properly ok. So now let's add another colliding object in between here. So go to this mesh add cube. So let me reduce the scaling ok. And let me press 3 on the keyboard for side view and let me place this here ok fine. And in order to make this a colliding object select this object rigid body and change that to passive okay. So if I play this now you can see this is looking much better now after adding this colliding object okay. So now let's see how we can make this alphabets fall one by one at certain frames. So for that select an alphabet enable this animated option in rigid body physics. Do the same thing for all the alphabets here. So I will be enabling this animated option for all the alphabets. So now if I play this now you can see all the alphabets are staying at the position only. 
So let me select this D alphabet and I want this alphabet to fall after 10 frames. So for that I will move forward in timeline like 9 frames forward. Add a keyframe for this animated option. Okay. Now move one frame forward that is on 10th frame. Uncheck this animated option and add a keyframe. So now if I play this, you can see the D letter will fall at 10th frame. So now select this R. So I want this to fall at 20th frame. So be on this 90th frame, 19th frame, sorry. Add a keyframe for this animated, move one frame forward, uncheck this animated, add a keyframe now. So now if I play this, you can see D drops first, R drops next, okay. So in this way, we can add keyframes here. So on 29th, I will add a keyframe for this animated, move one frame forward, uncheck this animated, add a keyframe. And at 39th, select, let me select this P, add a keyframe, move one frame forward, uncheck and add a keyframe here. So if I play this now, you can see we got our animation done here. So in order to render this out, first we need to bake the simulation. So select any of the alphabet, come to the scene properties, rigid body world, scroll down, come to this cache here. So here I want this to only 100 frames long. Okay, so change this to 100 frames and I will change this to 100 frames only. Okay, so now click on this bake button. So the bake is done and now if I play this, we got our simulation ready to render. Okay, so in this way we can create this kind of text falling one by one or alphabets falling one by one at certain points using rigid body physics in Blender easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then signing off. Take care. Bye.